everybody and welcome to a tutorial on how to install mods for Total War Rome, the Steam version. This has been suggested by a couple of people previously and most recently by Nino Yevtich. Hopefully I'm saying your name correctly. I'm not the most fluent in reading Russian, but hopefully that I'm saying that properly. So, simplest way, for example, you download, you go to the mod DB page for Rome Total War and you're looking for mods, for example, Ireland. What can you find with the Ireland? And apparently you cannot. You cannot find anything under Ireland. But either way, I found a mod that's, that adds the Irish faction for Total War Rome. And I say I wanted to play that mod. How do you do it? Well, simple. The mod comes comes in a rare file, so you just un unzip it. There's a there's a folder. You just copy, go to your Rome Total War Gold folder, paste it, and that's that. That's the first step. Second step, and I'll put all the little nuances in the description. You go to your Rome Total War icon thingy on Steam, Properties, and then over here on the Launch Options, you just write NE dash. Uh, an NE and a dash with a space in between, mod two dots, and then the name of the mod. And you write Ireland, and that's that. This dash show underscore ERR, that's just for me to have a borderless window screen. You can use it as if you like, just write it with a space after the name of the mod. And yes, you have to type exactly. How the name of the mod is doesn't need doesn't need to be capitalized or anything just the name will suffice and that will be that but say for example you play a mod for example like the 1942 mod or the napoleonic total war mod that have their shortcuts well you just use the shortcuts it's much much simpler if the mod already comes with shortcuts with with the mod installation. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. For example, our Aerobo Barbaro Roma, I, I think it has, and uh, Chivalry Total War also has, and Arthurian Total War also has. But for example, for the mods that don't have it, I just write what the mod is and the name of the mod. For example, this ZA11, I for the name I couldn't remember what it was, so I just wrote Tier 5 Barbarians ZA1, and now I know what it is. But say for example you have a mod that only works on Barbarian Invasion. Well what I found to work was you have one of two options. Well first of all you have to have the mod in the Barbarian Invasion file. I have a Barbarian Invasion OG file in case something goes wrong with the original one which has a backup of the Barbarian Invasion one just so I don't need to reinstall everything. And for example, I believe the end of days one, yes, I have, this is one of the ways that I've found to work. You, for example, for the end of days mod, which basically is the end of days, and I have a folder here with everything, well, it just has a data file, but I have a folder here for the end of days mod here, and I have a folder for the end of days mod here. This one apparently has more things and what you do is you go to the thing here you write EOD and then you play it and then you select the barbarian invasion mod and that should work but considering it doesn't sometimes it doesn't I have a mod for example the Shogun 2 mod which is called Rano Jidai there it is sometimes that mod does not work for me how do you play a mod that doesn't work if you do the two folder files? If you put one here and one in the main Rome Total War folder. What if doing that, that doesn't work? Simple. You go to the mod DB page and you find the Rome Total War mod launcher. Again, the links to everything will be in the description. And you go to the files and you download it. And it's, it is as simple as copying and pasting it to your Rome Total War main folder. And here we have it. You just 
do that and then for example Shogun 2 you just select it I have the name of the mod here so Shogun 2 okay so this is the Shogun 2 mod so you have to select it and that's that and for example the end of days here we go you can also select that and yeah it's absolutely good and you can select and deselect the ones that you want. For example, the Alexander mods are a bit iffy. I'll get to that in a moment. But for the Barbarian Invasion mods, I normally only select them with the with this mod launcher because that is the thing that works for me. For the vanilla ones, they always work with the with the trick that I told you of actually going here properties and doing this. But for some for especially the barbarian invasion ones they do not work and for example uh, suppose that you have a mod for for the alexander expansion and you do not know that it is for the alexander expansion and you just copy and paste it to the rome total war gold folder and you want to play it and the game says oh that one doesn't work it says it says maybe a generic error or something like that you just go to your trusty mod launcher you'll select the alexander expansion and okay apparently it doesn't say here but sometimes it does sometimes it does say that the mod is actually for the alexander expansion maybe because i have way too many mods it will not say it but i know for a fact that the south american mod is actually for the Rome Total War Alexander expansion. And how do you play mods for the Rome Total War Alexander expansion? Simple. You do exactly the same that you do for the Rome Total War uh, mods. You just go to properties and then you just type the name of the mod for the South America mod, South America. There we go. As simple as that and that is that anything else that I need to say well for example if you have a mod for like Napoleonic 2 Total War and that require so that requires that you have an installer you just install the version 1.0 as they say and then the version 2.0 as they say here you need to first install version 1.0 and then you have to unzip the fo the, um, the files that contain on the rare folder for the version 2.0 of the mod and then you copy and paste it and, re and just replace everything that you have on the main folder and that is it now for me for example to find mods that I feel that work and that are good I just go to released search and then you have everything some mods do not work for example the last airbender mod I was actually quite hyped because I like the last airbender I wanted to install it I want to install it, but because the mod is still quite new it's it it's it didn't work for me sometimes mods do not work they simply do not work for example this rust to war mod it's also mod folder it also will not work and for example for Darth mode for, for Darth mod this one replaces everything so what I do is actually I have the, the disc version of my game so what I have is I have the Rome Total War collection here. I just installed it and then I installed the Darth mod in here because it, is, it replaces everything. So to avoid that I just replaced everything in a different disk thing. If you have other means of installing it, well feel free to do so. I have the disk fortunately. I also have the Steam version because it is much easier to use. And then that is that. So if you guys have any other questions as to how do you install mods for Total War ROM on the Steam version, feel free to ask. The comment section is free down below and I'm always happy to answer any questions. So if that has been if that has been a good tutorial, well, feel, feel free to leave a like and subscribe because that will help me quite a lot and helps with the YouTube algorithm. If not, well, do feel free to ask me 
on the comment section down below and I am always free to answer your questions. So, see you guys in future episodes and I'll see you soon.